It can be hard to read the Bible verses that talk about the immediacy of salvation. And today we get one of the most powerful ones out of Paul's second letter to the Corinthians. It says, see, today is the day of salvation. Now is the acceptable time. Well, a lot of the times when we look at our lives and the life of the world, we ask ourselves, how can that possibly be? Even under normal circumstances, let alone if we find ourselves, say, in the middle of a war or an abusive relationship, it's awfully hard to see today as the day of salvation and now as the acceptable time. But maybe it might be helpful if we reframe our conception of what the grace and peace of God are really all about. They're certainly not about outward peace. If we're waiting for everything around us to seem settled and peaceful and look like the kingdom of God, at least in this earthly life, we're obviously going to be waiting forever. But I would say it's not even about inner peace by the usual definition. Yes, it's awfully nice to feel like we're the enlightened ones, the ones who have found a sense of peace, regulated breathing, regulated heartbeat, regulated mind in the middle of any and all circumstances. But I would say that the peace and the grace of God go even further than that. When the turmoil outside of us won't cease, even when the turmoil inside of us won't cease. St. Paul wasn't wrong. Today is still the day of salvation. Now is still the acceptable time. There is a place so deep in us that even we ourselves don't know it's there and don't know how to find it. But God does. And it is in that place that God offers to plant in the words of Scripture the peace that surpasses all understanding, the peace that guards our minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. The only thing required of us for God's peace to be planted there is our permission and perhaps a little bit of curiosity as to how, once it's there, it can slowly spread into our inner and eventually outer lives but it's really just about our surrender and our permission. And ultimately our faith that if we give that permission, God has planted God's peace and grace in us, even if we can't see it on the outside and often can't feel it on the inside. It's still there, it's still growing, and at the end of the day, it will win.